Hurricane Maria devastated Puerto Rico in September of 2017. One official saying the island is destroyed. No part of it was spared. In Maria's path of destruction was the FAA's next rad weather radar, the only long-range weather radar in the southeastern Caribbean. We got here with, uh, with Hurricane Maria, which devastated the island. After the storm, there's some rumors that the Metro radar blew away. And I, I was just thinking to myself, you know what, that, that's kind of impossible. That that's, it can be. But as we approached the mountain, I was able to, to identify the tower. And I was like, oh, you see, they, they were exaggerating. The radar is still there. When it cleared up and I saw that the dome was gone. Well, just uh, the base itself was standing up. Everything up was uh, torn apart. Uh, pieces of debris were all around the, the area in a very large uh, radius. There's no words to, to express what we felt. The place uh, looked uh, silent and without any spirit, I would say, you know, uh, total silence. We, we couldn't believe it. But it wasn't just the dome that was damaged. Some specialists came, they did a survey of the antenna structure and it got damaged by the hurricane. So we had to take the whole tower down. Now, the next rat is rebuilt and ready to go. Thanks to the hard work and incredible resiliency of FAA employees. The restoration of the next rat is critical for two reasons. First, next rat provides long range weather data, not only to the FAA's air traffic control system, but also to the DOT, DOD, National Weather Service, and of course, the residents of Puerto Rico. Second, the next rat also represents the final piece in the recovery of the NAS and air traffic services in Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands, completing the all-important air bridge, connecting the islands to the resources of the mainland U.S. The next rat, it's part of our eyes. The pilots' weather radars on board can only penetrate precipitation so far, so what the next ride helps us to do professionally is see beyond what he or she sees so that the flight deck can make a, an educated decision on which way to go around that weather. So the next ride is the only source of weather for San Juan and the U.S. Virgin Islands. In a tropical island where thunderstorms can happen, where Cat 5 hurricanes are now the norm, that's, that's when you really need a weather radar uh, at all times. It was a team effort between the air traffic folks and the take ups folks. Because the take ups folks, they were there before, during, and after. From the senior, most experienced technicians down to the new hires, everyone was a fundamental part in the restoration efforts. It, uh, it was very exciting, very challenging, uh, challenging work through, throughout all this process and uh, it just makes me feel good. I'm really proud to be part of this team and the FAA itself. I am very proud of my FAA team in San Juan. We found the grit in our soul to fight through this and overcome it and come out positive on the other side. It feels good. Everything that you do, every equipment restoration that you do, it will eventually be a fundamental tool for the residents of Puerto Rico and the whole Caribbean to make their life easier and save lives.